Hello everyone and welcome to the first YouTube video on Iconic Moments. YouTube channel. Now I do love a good spooky scary story but it's even better when we can watch it in animated version. Now today we're going to be reacting to The Boy I Met in the Woods, a horror story animated. Should we get into this because I can't wait to see what happens to the boy he meets in the woods. Let's go. Okay, The Boy I Met in the Woods, narrated by Nightmare Files. My name is Eric and this happened Hello, to me when Eric. I was around seven or eight years old. Seven or eight, okay. One summer my dad took me to a campsite for a mm -hmm. long weekend. That's when even we scary, arrived, isn't it? There were some kids around my age playing in a small park. I looked at my dad scary. and said, go ahead. So my dad unpacked the car. Little and children are the scariest, I reckon. There were two boys in a small park. I said hello and they said hello back. Their names were Kevin and Graham. Oh god, his eyes are bright green, aren't they? No pupils. His eyes just changed color. So Kevin and I hung around. And we talked about things we liked and how long we were staying at the campsite. Mm, some best friends After here. about an hour, Kevin's mom was Why is his home, neck so long? <laughs> so he had to leave. <gasps> I was about to head back his neck. To Oh my god. When a boy appeared from the woods. Who are you? He said hello. Oh said goodness. He's he escaped from dead. somewhere. Daniel. He seemed like a nice kid and we got along pretty well. He doesn't look it. He asked me if I wanted to play hide and seek, so I said yes. We played hide and seek at the campsite. For As you do, don't you? Until I told him I had to go, so I went back to my dad and went to the camper. You know, this campsite doesn't look very um. My dad had made some friends, and my dad professional. Asked where the were. I told him where Kevin and Graham's were, but I never. That Daniel kid looks like the dad more than the, the maybe, kid does. Well, I'll see him the next day, and I'll ask him then. Yeah. So the next day I went outside to see if any of the kids oh. wanted to play. No, they Kevin didn't. and Graham were both unavailable. Yeah. I was about to just return back to my camp room. Oh, we got Daniel. Daniel. Daniel's here. Out the woods. We greeted each other. Now, is that not spooky? He, he just appears out the woods out of nowhere as soon as he needs him. Yeah. But he said we should play at his house. Oh. I asked him where his house was. He told me it's not far. Do not. It's just in the woods. I, I don't think we're gonna see house. this boy ever again, you know. Ages, and one thing that I found unusual was the more we walked, the less talkative and distant Daniel became. Yes. Eventually, we exited the woods. Oh, to the house and there. Daniel said, "Here we are." He pointed at a rundown old house with a white bed. Okay, so maybe he didn't lie about where he lived, but he's he definitely run away, mate. Run I away. Followed, and asked Daniel, "So this is your house?" He replied by saying, "Yeah, let's go play hide and seek." I got this bad feeling. You know what? I'd be turning around and I'd be out of the there. House. It didn't look like a normal house. I started to notice that there were people <gasps> standing in the window inside the house. Oh, no way. That was his dad in the window. And he said, yeah, yeah. All yeah. three of them. Don't worry about him. He's harmless. And just continue walking. I see three people in there. I don't know what it was, but something made me slow down. Daniel was by the front door at this point. And when he turned around, he asked me if I was coming. I told him I had to go. Go run away. Go on. Run and ran through the forest and back to my camper. I spent the next few hours watching TV. Then I got bored and decided to go back outside. I knocked on Graham's door, but he wasn't available. I knocked on Kevin's door, and his dad told me he was already out with some boy named Daniel. <gasps> so I went back to the camper and did yeah. something else with my time. Late that night, did you a knock on our door. Did you not just realize what he just said? Is that with Daniel? I asked him if we had seen Kevin anywhere. You idiot! Oh my goodness. I asked his mom if she had checked Daniel's house. Did it just not click in your mind like he just did? Daniel lived. I showed Kevin's parents along with my dad and a few other people through the Did it not click in your head like it just clicked in my head? I know you're seven, when but... When got there, the van was gone. <gasps> and when we knocked on the door, there was no answer. Oh my goodness. Golly the gosh. The whole house was empty and abandoned. We didn't find no. Kevin for the rest of our time at the campsite. And he's still missing to this day, as far as I know. I thought then, and still think today, that Daniel was some kind of bait to lure kids in the same age as him to be kidnapped. Uh, you know... <sighs> in the same age as him to be kidnapped. And I'm thankful my gut sensed danger and told me to leave. This could have been prevented if it just gone, um, excuse me... Like, Daniel, you should have just clicked in your head, mate, that he's going to be 
taken and because you were nearly taken you know if you've just been out with some creepy person who's at your campsite called dan you've just ran away from and then your friend's like oh i'm going out with this person as well you don't let it happen oh my i'm shocked and astounded, and i have no idea i like is he still missing we don't know Me yeah that kid i know he's only seven but he's he should have done better he should have realised that, oh, he's going out with Daniel, so I need to help him. But he didn't. He didn't help him. And I'm very shocked at that, to be honest. <laughs> um, but if you stayed around this long, thank you very much for watching. And we'll be reacting to another one of those in the next video. And we're going to see how silly the other people are. Like this person. So that was, a, <laughs> that was enough of this video. And I will see you all in the next. Bye-bye, everyone.